and now a great supporter of Keweenaw National Historical Park and the Park Service, our senior citizen, or senior <laughs> senator, <laughs> sorry, our senior senator from the great state of Michigan, Carl Levin. all the time and I'm mighty proud to be a senior citizen as a matter of fact. And I uh, talking about another senior citizen. Uh, I would only wish uh, that my, my wife Barb could have been with us today. Uh, we, we just celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary so he's a senior citizen too and mighty proud of us. But Amy Berglund uh, who's my regional rep and who does so much great work in the Upper Peninsula that she has to cover uh, totally. Uh, she's with me here today. Many of you know Amy, and I just want to add my uh, note of thanks to, to her. To the Park Service, this incredible, this incredible organization of ours in America. Uh, I don't know if there is a, a part of our government that is more popular than the National Park Service. Now, perhaps the Congress is more popular, but... <laughs> Other than the Congress, uh, I tell you, uh, the, young, the young and old, the seniors and juniors who uh, use our parks, uh, really just love our parks and love the people who work in our parks. Uh, talking about young and old, that three-year-old down there is shivering, so I'm going to keep my, uh, my remarks down to less than an hour. Um, well, the, uh, the visitor center, which we're opening today, really is... Uh, tells the story of a place and of a people who changed America uh, and changed the world. Uh, they helped to uh, create an industrial giant, which is what was produced here. The copper that was produced here was essential to the industry which uh, flowered and flourished uh, in our country. Uh, they, uh, the product that they made here and produced here and extracted here or helped uh, to win a civil war, as a matter of fact. So this is a major part of American history, a major part of American history. Uh, came very close to being the capital uh, of our state. The building uh, that we're opening here today tells the story of a, of a people of, uh, who came from all parts of the globe. Um, at one point here, there were eight newspapers that were published in different languages at least eight churches representing different uh, religions, different uh, parts and components of uh, our religious faith, um, but representing nationalities who came from different places as well. Um, this place was uh, America in miniature. Uh, folks who came from just about everywhere to form a community, not just to extract a valuable metal, but to also create a community. And it's very fitting that the building that we're reopening here today, this time as a visitor center, was a union building. Not a trade union building, although the history of trade unions was changed here in Copper Country, but a union, a coming together of fraternal organizations in this building. This was truly a community building, and the word union represented exactly that. The folks who are now coming together to tell this story and to pass this story along, along um, you are creating a union. You have come together to make it possible to create this fabulous historical park. And by the way, this, this park is unique. It's unique in all the country. Uh, nowhere else in the national park system is partnership with the community such an important factor, such an important component of the park. Cooperation among all of the groups, the nonprofit groups, the business community, all of the partners, state and local governments, there's so many components to this park and it's unique in the park service. There are other historical parks. There are other parks that have a major component of the community, but none to the extent that we have right here in Calumet. So the story and the glory of Copper Country 
is being told in this building and in so many other parts of the Keweenaw National Historical Park. It, park. It's just great to be a, a part of it as I was coming here with this unintended dramatic entrance that I made. <laughs> if I would have thought of it, I would have intended it because it was a wonderful reception. <laughs> It's always, uh, it's really a treat, it's a pleasure, it's an honor for me to come back and just to be a part of this story that will uh, last uh, for generations to come. Great being with you.